Well said. And Frank happened to be one of the best guys at the Shark Bait, man. I always loved teaching him that and working through that with him. He always did a wonderful job. Go ahead, uh, Tom. Sensei Tom. Uh, I like what I see. Um, ask questions. Raise your hand. You have Soka here and Shinon's here. Ask questions. The, the question that's not asked will hurt you. Okay. Ask questions. Practice, 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 practice. Okay, because the attackers on the street, they don't care. They're not gonna, you know, wait for you to, to get your position. They're gonna come at you, and it, it is too late. Here, you can fix things. You can work it out. Work through injuries. You know, I have them too. But you know what? You work through them. You, get, you heal yourself, and relax. Basics, 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 basics. Okay, you balance weapons. Or another thing, but just work through basics. Uh, young man on the end, just be careful on the knife. Okay, in your combat blocks, watch the elbow, but you know everything's fixable. Uh, proud of you. This young gentleman I remember him when he was a little kid, so, you know, I remember him. his twice, I think. Yeah, you and my, when I was, so I'm old. But that's okay, you know, you stuck with it. Here is, you have the best training in the world. Okay, take advantage. Thanks, sir. Cheers. I'm proud of all of you guys, really all from white belts, and I can see a lot of the Shihan senseis here, and people that aren't here that taught you all the training really culminate in what you're doing tonight. Of course, Soke is the major force, but coming from tradition, I worked with Professor B for many years and some of the other professors that train Soke. Soke has distilled techniques from these other professors into a very practical system for self-defense in the street that he's taken and modernized the systems to make these techniques crisper, faster, combine better, and for you to have the knowledge of the stand-up jiu-jitsu is very important for street fighting. Like Sensei saying, both Sensei's here. That's what it comes down to. I think individually tonight, all of you guys prove that you know the techniques. Brown belt is a very important <coughs> rank. That's the highest Q belt. And at that point, you should be able to be fighting in the street, combining strikes, blocks, throws, locks, chokes, etc., and use them proficiently in the street. So this is a very important rank. You're going to be leaders in teaching in the class, and you're transitioning to the next phase, which is black belt. I think overall, you guys did a great job tonight. Very impressed with you, and congratulations. Uh, wow, uh, tough test, huh? Just think, there's, there's more to learn, more to do. Stay in shape. Stay in shape. Keep keep your uh, job. You got to breathe. You know, you uh, look like. For a moment there, you forgot to breathe, and you were just throwing out punches. So you got to remember that because it's going to get a lot harder, and it's got more things to learn. And overall, very impressive. Uh, you know, you, you amplify what jujitsu is all about. A person your size, your weight, throwing guys twice your, you know, twice your size. Very close. You were moving smooth. This is what it's all about. That you know, you can do it. You know. When we have, when we add the strength of the us bigger people, you know I mean, it just shows what this is, what an art this is, how we can just move around and manipulate people and then taking them down and doing what we have to do with them. Very impressive. The shark bait is a true test of what you learn and how you, you know, apply it. So just remember to stay focused in, in that particular case and, and practice. Don't forget your strike. Everything starts with a strike. You're not, I've always told you in class, nobody's going to give you your wrist. you got to earn that wrist. you got to strike them, loosen them up, then you can play with them. Right? So always start it off that way. Nice job. Kevin? Sir? You know, I, I told your parents I was, I couldn't wait for them to see you. You've come such a long way. And, you know, Jeff, injuries and all, nice job. Way to sticking with it. We're going to miss you, and you just keep hanging in there. Yeah, Bobby. I think you guys did a, did a pretty good job overall. Uh, this watching reminds me, you know, how hard jiu-jitsu really is to use in a, in a real situation. You gotta really be uh, real accurate with it. I'd say 100% in the dojo to have a 50% chance in the street. So, uh, you know, thanks Sensei George, Soka, Sensei Frank for helping you. And, uh, you know, like they said at my test, just keep on sharpening your your blade, you know? That's your techniques, your katas, and focus on the, the balance and the, you know, the angles and degrees of the pressure, and just keep on slicing more and more fat off. 
Uh, good job. All right, I'm not gonna. Well, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say I'm proud of all of you. You did a great job. We have a great group of people here. You know, some people come and go. I know there's Lana Oranger and Todd and a few others. You know, it's a shame that they're not here. Um, sometimes you're going to have that happen in the class. It's just discouraging when you work so hard with people and all of a sudden they come and they go and they come. But it's part of running a dojo. You know, it's just one of the, you know, people have their everyday lives. And this is, for most people here, it's not what they do for a living, obviously. They do it for an activity that they enjoy. But I'm proud of uh, John. Can I say, you, know, you, you helped me all the way around the board with everything. You're always there for everybody. You clean. Um, you're what a true martial artist should be with spirit, cleaning the dojo, making sure that you know things are taken care of. We, I was always taught that. that you know what the person, you know, it's your dojo. No matter whether you pay or not, this is your dojo. He does it with a smile. Then he does it with a smile. Never yeah. ever complain, take out the garbage, you do this, you do that. Everybody puts their fair share to a degree in. You have to tell them normally, no offense guys. Uh, but you don't, I don't worry, I mean, you close the doors when I'm not here, you open it when, you know, if I need you there. You know, I mean, uh, it's a pleasure. It's, it's like having a big brother. So you continue to keep on moving forward. Because man, you were the only one of the only people in this dojo that said, no, I don't want to test. And you were ready to test a while ago. <clears throat> uh, and that just shows that, you know what, uh, inside, you know, here, you know what you want. So I never pushed you. I could have, but I didn't. And uh, what you did tonight proved that, you know, your waiting paid off. You're perfect. Perfect test, really few, very few mistakes. Um, and how old are you now, John? Uh, I'll be 63 in another month. 63, so, so what am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Are you on too? Okay, um, Jeff, can I tell you, who mentioned that it was uh, the size? I think you did. About uh, He's right on the money. You know, most of this traditional jujitsu was applied by the Japanese. See? Look Saito like, was one of them. He was, 100, he was 108 pounds. No, he was 108 pounds. He was only... I think five foot two. He was a small, little teeny guy. I remember him being on his knees, and I was 23 strong as an ox. Grab Hans. Junior, grab Hans. And he'd be on his knees and say that. I'd say, okay, I'll grab you, I'll crush you. i grab those wrists. No, hard, hard, hard. And I'd be squeezing his arm like this. I'd fly through the air and just, it made me just say, wow, this is it. I gotta learn this. He would just go, and you'd be flying through the air saying, what the heck was that? But that's, you're very much like that. You don't use a lot of strength, you're smart. You're dead on, try to punch this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He, he does a dead on like a 200 pound guy, does a dead on as good as me. And I do a hell of a dead on. So keep it up, and we're gonna miss you. But Berkeley College is a good college. A lot of earthquakes out there, but it's a good college. <laughs> Be careful those earthquakes. <laughs> they got a fall by right at the knee, man. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, shit. Just hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm going to have a fall now. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> go, go with the shake. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. Uh, but excellent. I'm going to miss you a lot. And even on the night, um, so we're all going to miss you. You've been a very big part of the dojo since you came to me to another dojo at age 13. 13, 14, 13. 13 or 14. So you've been with me for a while. How old do you know? Uh, 19. So. 19. Well, you know, it was a while, so I'm very proud of you. Jeff, what can I tell you? You came to the Taekwondo guy for a while ago, as he did when he first came, and um, you, you, had, you, know, you had your fair share of injuries. Like they said, you worked through those injuries, and I'm very proud of you. I don't want you to feel like you've uh, even got to think about stopping because those injuries permit you, not don't permit you to be able to move forward and learning. Falling is something that some people, you know, most of us can do. Uh, I have to minimize even now. You know, when you get to a certain point and you have an injury or back surgery or neck surgery or hip surgery, like Rocky, you know, it doesn't mean you quit. I mean, Rock's a perfect example of that. You know, he had to pick up a hip replacement, great athlete, still benches on that. And the bottom line is, I mean, you know, when you have an injury, you don't give up. You just say, okay, I'm going to work through it. And you have. So I give you a lot of credit with that. What can I tell about you? When you, uh, when you first started here, I didn't know what I was going to do. I said, okay, we got a guy, I got to work this guy to death. 
And let me tell you something. You've put 100% effort into your learning. I mean, you really have. I mean, uh, I got to give you a lot of credit because you made it a, a very strong effort to be here on a consistent basis. Um, and you worked very hard. Lazy sometimes with the cleaning stuff. You know, when I mentioned that before, running out the door. But uh, that's not, I mean, that's neither here or there when it comes down to what you've done on the mat. Continue to apply yourself, uh, work for that black belt, and you've got something that, you know, is going to be very special someday, especially you young guys at your age. So, and you have great parents on top of that. So it's nice to see your parents. Your parents I've known for a long time. They're good people, and the bottom line, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be here doing this, because they're the ones that brought you here. So make sure you thank them. Because they've they come a long way. They're very, very, they should be very proud of you. Uh, with that, I'm proud of all of you guys over here. I'm proud of my, my, the group here. We're missing some people tonight. I'm proud of the class. It's nice to come to a dojo and feel like you have a family. And that's what my father always said. It's a brother. It's a family. So I love all of you. With that, let me just get these belts, and I'll let each one of you, Bobby, you grab one. So hold on. Where's my glasses? Underneath you, sir. Huh? Under the chair. On, by your foot, sir. Oh, my foot. Grab my glasses there, please. Yeah. Okay. Bobby, grab one, and I'll tell you what. You can't see what size. Who's next one? That's Jeffrey. Good call. Sure. Uh, All right. I think this is... Yeah. Yeah. This is... Yeah. This is... Uh, he wanted six, uh, uh, John. So you can put it on John, actually. You, you, yeah. And then here. Just take these tickets. This is John Kevin is. five here. John, come on this side. And that's uh, Jeffrey Singal. Kevin. Jeff's out over the far side. Kevin's out here. Okay. Jeff, a Jeff, big Jeff. Oh, little Jeff. All right, you guys hand in their certificates. What's the matter? Oh. Yeah, I made a mistake. I will fix it. You guys, I got to take those certificates and change it also because they were made up for uh, EQs. I don't know why, Roger. I didn't look at it. Roger, so I'll have them done. Don't worry about it. But you make sure you bring the certificates back to me because I got to change them, all right? Because you made a mistake, but uh, what do you put on there, John? I, I, I didn't even look. I thought I just looked at the name. What do you put on there? Thank you. Jeffrey, try to stop about it. Ten minutes, we don't You guys are going to have to just do calligraphy. That's it. You guys, are not, I'm not going to go crazy. So bring those certificates in. Us. Um, also, who else do I have? Oh, Frankie. Oh, Frankie. Ross, you there? Frank's He's in there. <laughs> rear cover, uh, pay attention rear to cover back. Let's get up. Come over here. <laughs> there you go. Everybody come yeah. over here. Everybody come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in.
Not see the lens. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. It means a lot. Thanks. 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 Thanks